Hey guys, welcome back to yet another YouTube video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be showing you why you suck at Fortnite competitive and what you can do to fix it in this video in a very detailed manner. There's a lot of things in this video that are not well known and I think you guys can benefit from it. So please stay all the way through the video. I promise you won't regret it. Fields are not crazy good, but it's like good enough. Uh, yeah, also, Charlie doesn't have a shotty. Oh, this is good. Good fight, good fight. Easy third party on edge, so that means you're not going to get third party. This is probably the most amount of teams that are going to be here. Also, when you're gliding in, you have a really good view of the surrounding, so you can pretty much even further guarantee you're not going to get third party. So, like, I think you can play a little bit more aggressive here, right? Um, and the main reason is, is, like, when you have height in this meta, they're, like, boxed up below you. You can pressure them a lot. I think what you should do here, because of the fact that you rifted, you have information that no one's here. It's a good fight to take. There's literally no third parties here. And the reason I'm encouraging you to take this fight is because of the situation that Charlie's in and your heal situation. Your loot is not a game-winning uh, situation, right? Like, I always say, like, try to W key until you have a launch pad. So, like, right here, huge view. You can look, look at my mouse. All of this no one's here and that little island there has like mm -hmm. a million fishing spots so there's always people like fishing yeah. there so we can rest on them this is even another bigger point to kill them because if you kill mm -hmm. them then you can fish all of this yeah yeah right like you control this whole side of the map like you, no one's gonna touch you after this this is why i i, I would take this fight yeah so try to think critically of fights that way like actually like, like in in game ask yourself is this a good idea like and then try to like come up with the reasons why it should take like five seconds max and then if you're not good at doing that that's what you should practice like uh, evaluating whether a fight's actually good to take or bad to take in this case it's very good to take it's a Basically, you guys 3 two, one obviously, I can tell. Um, and you set up a really, really nice, uh, like, quick dead on this kid. Yeah, this breaking thing was from your video, too, with, the, like, the solo thing on hype. Yep. This is free. Free is, like, that was, this is the quickest kill. Okay, what is the mistake you guys are doing right now? That um, is very obvious. Two people going for the I'm, loot. Yeah, I'm greeting for loot whenever, like, I should be just turning around. Kind of right. Back and Kinda right. You guys can both go for the loot. That's not the issue. Expand. Yeah, Back, make make your on. own space, like close off everything. Like this and needs to be airtight. Yeah. Okay, there's there's uh -huh. there's holes. Pretend you're in space right now. Like there's holes in the walls. Right, close it off. Right. Otherwise, the the, the like the vacuum outside or the enemies will get in and and they'll yeah. they'll kill you. When you're going for loot, you're tunnel visioned. You're distracted, and also uh, other people can see the loot too. They're also gonna want to go for it. Yeah. It's sort of the same thing yeah. as like the firefly. Like people are just gonna come after you, like and try to kill you. Cause then they get the benefit of four people's dead loot. Like <laughs> of course they want to kill yeah. you. So both of you are hard tunnel visioning. You need to hold walls and run around and like make sure you're building. Right. Yeah. yeah. Someone actually sprayed through a wall to kill you here. Uh -huh, the order of actions here is is wrong. You looted, then yeah. built. It should always yeah. be, uh, what do you call it? Like build, build, then build loot. To loot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you a common scenario, okay? Let's say 1v1s, solos, mid game, okay? Enemy's in here, he's weak, and you're out here, right? And this, this box is the enemies, like it's all his walls. Uh, so then, mm -hmm. you know he's weak, so you wanna get in, so you place a ramp, you exploit in, and you get in. So you kill him, right? Uh, so then what hap ends up happening is you're stuck in his edits. Should you loot first or should you try to get out so that if a third party comes along? Yeah, you, sh you should break through. any one of these walls, right? Uh, like, doesn't necessarily matter. And then just make another box so you have edits. So you can get out. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so this sort of scenario is just applicable in every single time. So all you want to do is build the habit of every time I get a kill, make one box that's mine. Or just close off all the angles. Just build metal box here, build metal box like this, and then come back loot. And then if you get yeah. third party, you have edits to like expand further. Whereas if you don't do this and then you loot, third party comes in, replaces this wall, first try, you're dead. He 50-50s you because he's an idiot and you lose. So just like do the exact same thing in endgame. It's actually even more important in endgame. This single mistake, ignore everything else. This is like 80-20 rule. This one mistake is why you lost this game and did yeah. not do well. There's like, ignore the minor details because those, they improve you, but not that much. If you fix this, this entire game becomes like a thir third or second place. Right here, I'm just like, like at this point, we have like no man. Drop down bottom I'm left like, here after you get speed, I think. I think we like low ground. Yeah, like you should just drop down to the left. Like if you go forward, you're going to continue your speed. Like you have the same angle, yeah. but so the only, you don't have to go all the way low. You can either like, Oh, it's a solo, like jump in, yeah, or you can just drop down, like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, Either way, you have to go bottom left. I just never he pushes, he pushes me in the box, and then he mm -hmm. dies, and then... 
Oh, uh, unfortunate. Okay, but, see, like, you can go for, like, risky shit like this when you're 200 HP. It's so hard to win fights when you're 100 or 120. It's, it, it's really difficult. Um, it's just such a big disadvantage. If you're 200 HP here, you win this fight. Easily. It's just you were, uh, like, 90 HP or whatever after tanking, so... And it's very that simple, it's right? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope most importantly, you got you guys actually learned something new from this video. If you did, please leave down in the comments what you learned specifically that was so valuable. And I want you guys to sort of try to apply it in your own scrims, apply it in your own tournaments and see how it works, right? Because it's one thing to learn theory. It's one thing to sort of watch as many YouTube videos as you can, but it's another step, the most important step to actually try to apply it in your own games because you can know a lot of stuff about Fortnite, but if you never try to apply it in your own games, you'll never get anywhere. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time.